Don't think I didn't see you there, Noble. Don't think I didn't see your name pop up. I'm doing well, man. How are you doing? How are you doing? Baiting a game to play? Well, my friend, you already know what game I'm playing. You see it up on my screen. Come on now. I might have to update my little intro video to include these whole host of games that I'm playing. Are you kidding me? FIFA? Who plays FIFA? Who plays FIFA anymore? All right, so we are back to building. We got a nice little town going here, okay? Let me uh, move this chat. I realized the other day that the chat was kind of in the way. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of just move it to like right there. So it's like a nice small little feature that you guys can kind of see okay i'm going to keep the chat on the screen but i want to maintain more of the city so let's kind of zoom in on our community here we're going to hit play we're going to see how it's all kind of developing and growing we built out some new areas we're trying to get rid of some of this pollution here i think that's going to require some trees we've got our nice little industrial technical school here that's building we're going to get rid of all this stuff. All this stuff we're going to be moving, okay? Let's take a look at our wind speed, our air pollution. Let's see where it's going. Okay, perfect. Currently, the wind is moving out of our city. That's what we want to see. Excellent. The wind is moving out of our city. I'm happy about that. Noble, if you want to jump on and play a game, or if you want to play FIFA, or if you want to play some city skylines, don't... Uh, hesitate to just kind of jump in here, man. You are more than welcome to to jump in. You're more than welcome to, my guy. More than welcome to. All right. So let's zoom in on some of these houses. Let's take a look at what these guys are doing here. Hmm, okay. <laughs> Might uh, with Spudsy. There you go. Well, I mean, FIFA, let's be real, man. I, I, I love FIFA, but I can't I can't constantly be playing it. All right, and we have our nice little technical college here. This is our medical university, so we're going to be labeling this our med center. Okay, so right now, we are kind of stagnant on growth, which is okay. Uh, but it allows us to, you know, really move some of this property away. Uh, and higher up so that way all this industrial stuff goes over here like for example this power plant let's go ahead and let's um let's move this power plant right here okay we're gonna move that power plant right there so that way we don't have all of the whatchamacallit we don't have the the pollution here okay so let's bring this this way We'll bring it here, up, and around, okay? So it all connects right here. There we go. So that's all taken care of. Pretty much everything that we have in the city is powered, which I'm super excited about. Guys, also, I want to let you know, if you do miss this stream of kind of like me building things, 
it's going to be on my YouTube. So if you hit that exclamation mark YouTube, you will see a full length video of the of the build. Okay, so don't hesitate to go check out the YouTube. The new the initial build is going to be posted at 4 p.m. today. So you definitely want to check that out. You definitely want to check that out. We'll go ahead and get rid of that power line for right now. Our city is looking nice. It looks like it's really kind of just growing and getting a little bit bigger. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to add another set of power lines here. Just so we can kind of get this all attached and working, okay? So we'll bring it out to... Ooh, can I... Am I able to? Alright, so we're going to have to bring this out to right here. So that means we're going to have to take this... And we're going to have to move the storage unit. Oh. This storage unit is kind of in the way, and that really upsets me, actually. I don't know how to delete this storage unit. I need to get rid of this right now. So that way this can charge... Um, you know what I'll do? I'll actually build a road. We'll build a road. Right over here, okay? So that way we can kind of keep it all aligned and attached. We'll take this. We'll move this over here okay and let's see if we can then connect one of the power lines to it it's overlapping this item shoot 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 all right let's go ahead and just demolish that we're gonna go ahead and demolish that we're gonna re-add it though because I, I need to have like a, a shield generator. Oh, that's a geothermal power plant. That's not what we want. We want a transformer station. No, we want we want the battery station. That's what we're looking for. Cool. Battery station right here. And then we'll just go ahead and connect it out. There we go. So that way the battery station can be consistently powered. And it will provide as much possible electricity to um, everybody in the city, okay? So this air pollution, I see that it's still there. What we're going to do is we're going to try to figure out a way to move these residents a little bit away. And we'll kind of develop more businesses in this area, okay? As you guys can see, we're kind of expanding towards the water where our downtown is going to be. Oh, that was a nice plane that just flew by. So we're going to be expanding this way. So that's why I have some of these parking centers. You guys can see some of these zones. They're kind of zoned out. As we see here, we have a few uh, little bit of not suitable areas for residents, which is okay. That's usually kind of like in the middle part of the city. So what we're going to do is we're going to kind of change up some of these roads and make it more beneficial to want to actually travel down here. Okay. So... What we're going to do is we're going to take this stretch of roads here and we are going to refine it. So let's go ahead and click on the road if we can. Can we click on the road? That's a foggy street. Let's see if we can click on this road. I do want to click on this road. Not enough customers. Okay, we're going to have to get some more customers. All right, so... In order to improve this road, a lot of people, nine times out of ten, will immediately destroy and and whatnot. So what we want to do is we want to see if we can actually increase the budget of the roads to improve the overall quality of the road. So we're going to jack the road prices up just a little bit. We're going to dedicate a lot of our money towards transportation right now. So that way, some of these roads can kind of improve. We'll get a lot of people kind of gravitating and you know getting into the city as you can see look look at some of this stuff like some of these neighborhoods really nicely developed they're really coming together like better than i expected honestly these are the types of apartments we kind of want to see 
you know, we've got a, a nice set of condos here. Like, you can just look in some of these condos, man. They just look phenomenal. We've got our foot traffic. People are out walking their dogs here in the rain. No leash. I should probably do something about that. But, so right now, I'm not going to do anything about that. So what we're going to do is now that we have the city kind of somewhat just going through a slow crawl, what we want to do is we want to actually now take this opportunity where we have 3,000 people and this is where we go into our budget. Our budget is going to allow us to bring some of these people in. So I've obviously taxed less on residential, but now that we have more people, we're going to tax a little bit more. And we're also going to add more taxation to our businesses. So we can actually get um, or less taxation to our businesses, more to our industrial and a little bit less commercial because we really want to influx people into the city. So now taxes are going to go up. You will see a little dip in the overall um, population, but over time that increases the value of the city, right? So now that we have that taxation mark set, uh, we're going to move on. We're going to see if we can not um, get slowed down by anything else. As you can see, I'm going to let this build, this office demand build. Thank you for, thank you. I thought I turned off these ads. No, let's change. Let's go to the vibe station. There we go. All right. Noble, I'm I'm systematically going through, man, and, and just kind of learning this game and just trying to be the best at it. I've seen your cities. Like, your cities are, are freaking legit, man. So don't, don't sell yourself short. All right. So we're waiting for a hearse here. So as you can see, we've got one cemetery out here. Um, and I think we have another cemetery somewhere else, but what we're going to do is we're going to upgrade this cemetery, okay? Uh, let's put this on the... So I don't want it too close to the residence, but we're going to have this close to where it needs to be, okay? We're going to really make this kind of like the city, the main city cemetery, okay? We'll put that right there. So we'll really, really expand that. And then uh, we'll do a temple right there. And I think we can also do a temple at another cemetery. But I'm going to hold off on that right now. We've got our sports teams kind of going, activated. What are these guys? These guys are called the Chirpers. I love it. I love it. You love to see the Chirpers here. All right, and let's go ahead and take a look at some of our districts that we've drawn out. These are our initial districts. So we have the Bedford Square, Empire Gardens, which is going to be kind of like the main office area. And then we have kind of, you know, little downtown area here as we feed in. And you see this highway feeding perfectly into the downtown. That's exactly what we want to see. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take some of this office space and we're going to really zone it out. We're going to really zone it out here in kind of like the heart of downtown. Okay, obviously we can move these spaces as we get closer and closer to here where we are going to put our downtown. What we want to do is we want to filter all of this down into this stretch, okay? Kind of like that Manhattan project. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to filter it all the way down this way, okay? All right, so we're going to add a few office spaces here. That should be enough. It changes everything. And now we should see now growth happening. As you can see, our city information, we have some unoccupied buildings, which is okay. It's a natural thing for a city to have. So just let it go, leave it be, and it, and it should be okay. What we're going to do is we're going to try to increase more housing. So we're going to let this ride. I'm going to actually speed up the process. And what you're going to see is based off of, based off of our taxation, we're going to be generating more interest in developing. And since we've already zoned out some of those areas, now you'll see that this growth is going to stay stagnant right and if we want to promote the growth what we're going to do is we're going to change up some of our zones so we can really influx potential growth in some of these areas okay so we'll do this here let's get some low rent housing we always have to have low rent housing so that way people can kind of just vibe out okay we'll get some low rent housing right here actually we'll put some right here just kind of low rent so people can kind of come and move in 
So you saw that there was a couple abandoned buildings there. Now those are, have disappeared. As you can see, those are all going to change. You know what? Is this the one that changes to night and day? I think it is. That's super cool. That's so cool. I love it. I love it. All right. So we're going to fire through the game speed here. And see if we can't speed it up. And one thing I really want to take pride in, guys, is our ability to not have water pollution here. Even though we are dumping sewage right here, it is connected to this water treatment plant. And let me tell you, nothing will service you and your city better than providing clean water. So you definitely want to do that. All right. So what are we looking at here? We're looking at some issues. So we're having a problem with finding employees all right so now finding employees is going to be tough because probably roadway so let's go ahead and take a look at our traffic and see if now this would be the opportunity to add better lanes of traffic okay so all of that traffic is getting stuck right here okay this is all easy traffic this is what we want to see easy easy traffic but as you get deeper and deeper into this game you're going to run into some of these problems so what we're going to do is we're going to actually make this section a lot easier for people to travel through. This is the big problem. This is the hurdle that a lot of people are facing then trying to get over here to go to work. So we have smokestacks here that I want to see if I can change this and take the zoning out of this. And we're going to make this completely downtown. So let's go ahead and pause it and we'll take a look at our zones. We're going to take out these zones right here, okay? Because I don't want to have that. We'll put quality housing right here. And then we're going to put some office spaces right here. And then we'll go through and we'll bulldoze all of these former buildings. We'll bulldoze this object. We'll bulldoze this object because we don't need it anymore. We don't need it anymore. Let's take a look at this. This is a battery station. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this battery station and we're going to outright just move it. We're just going to move the station, okay? We're going to move it to an another location that is going to be serviceable. We want serviceable areas for our residents, but we also want serviceable areas for our um, industrial stuff in our generators okay so now that that's moved over there it's going to get fully charged we're going to have extra power that's going to be powering the city and guess what guys we just got a whole bunch of free space right here a whole bunch of free space to really expand and develop anything that we want to do so what i'm going to do is i am actually in fact going to exit out of this where is this so we added that we took out some of these smokestacks because we don't need them what we're going to do is now we're going to really add some housing, but the cool kind of housing, this type. We're going to add an ability for people to actually go live on those apartments that you see downtown, but at the same time also, you know, have businesses at. Okay, so let's go ahead. We'll separate this out. We'll add a little division here so we can really kind of open up that traffic a little bit. Um, and you know what just for the giggles of it just for the giggles of it Let's go ahead and throw a landmark down. We're gonna really up that value of that area. Okay So we'll add a couple more here just so people can kind of see and It develops all right So what we want to do is we also want to repair this stretch of road So you see I have this highway filtering into the city Right, so what I want to do is now I want to take this opportunity to add yet another bit of a connection so what we're gonna do is we're going to create a roundabout road here that's what I want to do we're gonna create a roundabout so this is downtown we're gonna create a roundabout right about here where was that? It was the vision right here. Okay. So what we can actually do is we can dezone these. We'll get these out of the zone. We'll bulldoze it. I know, I know that sucks, right? That I had to do that. I'm sorry. 
what we're gonna do is we're gonna really just open up this space right here so we're gonna bulldoze some of these roads right here we'll leave this okay so we opened up this section right here right well actually we can go ahead and get rid of this we're really opening up this section right here that's what we want to do so with this we're going to now develop a roundabout and what we should do before we develop a roundabout is the highway we want the highway connection we're going to extend this into a five lane highway going this way okay as you can see we're going to have to cut through a lot of this stuff but we want to make sure that everybody can get to every aspect of the city okay so we're going to start with this we're going to develop a roundabout or a, an exit into our city so let's take a look at how that's going to look see what we're doing is now we're dividing it and this is going to be a nice little downtown section here people can come into the city and people can go further into the city on that side okay so when i say roundabout let's go ahead and let's actually um do it this way we're gonna go ahead, bulldoze, bulldoze, bulldoze. I know it's tragic, right? So, bulldoze. Now, what we want to do is change this to this right here. We're gonna pick it up. We're gonna elevate this highway. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna elevate the highway. And then we're gonna drop it right back down so it meets up and connects here so the importance of that now is we're now elevating the highway so that it allows us to not only get a beautiful shot coming into the city but now I can start building roads underneath and really clearing up this whole area building connections as needed where they're needed Okay, plus it also allows me to build this way and build a highway that can go around this stretch. And most likely, not wanting to cut through all this, I might just go through this area and kind of go around. Kind of go around like this. That actually looks much better. Perfect. So, now that we have that, what we're going to do is we're going to take our highway here. Let's go from this point... We'll go from right here and we'll branch off. We'll branch off this way, okay? Seeing as these areas are not built yet, we can already systematically kind of just build. We can kind of just build right through it as needed, as needed. Okay, so we're just going to kind of look for the areas where we're not really overlapping. And if we have to overlap, we can destroy a few buildings along the way. Okay, so right here is probably where I'm going to face a little bit of issue, but we're going to get through it. We're going to get through it, guys. And obviously, we're going to rezone and repurpose everything the way it needs to be repurposed. Okay, so now we have one highway going straight down this way. We've got one highway going this way, and now we're going to have a roundabout highway. So let's see if we can find a connection point, which we can't. So let's escape really quick, and we're going to kind of go through some of these suburbs. Not really feeling that, so we'll destroy that. I'd much rather go around, if possible. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to actually go around. This is what we'll do. Destroy that. Destroy that. We'll destroy that. Don't worry, guys. All these parks are coming right back. Okay, so we're going to take this area right here, and we're going to make this our path to get to where we need to go, okay? So, let's go back to our highways. And let's see. Because I want to be able to... Let's go ahead and start deleting some of this stuff out of the way. Yes, I know, I know. You guys are upset about it. It happens. You guys will get over it. Alright, so we're going to keep this road intact. This is vibing right now. Let's switch it though. It's too vibey for me. Too vibey. Alright. 
Highway. Let's pick it up right where we left off. We'll kind of go this way. We'll stretch out. That power line is in the way. That's what that is. Oops. Oh, it's never a bad time to save, right? It's never a bad time to save a game. Um, Alright, so what I want to do is I want to exit out of... Nope. I want to exit out of bulldozing. And I want to be able to select these power lines and potentially move them. Just temporarily. Screw it. We'll, uh, let's just... Just temporarily let's just see what happens just just temporarily we'll, we'll make the connections again we will make those connections again it's always important to make connections and never lose those connections okay let's back out of here let's take a look at what we're looking at we got the parks maintenance which is okay we've got basketball courts right here which is okay, so I foresee most likely having to go through this neighborhood. Which is okay, and I understand it's probably going to bring a little bit of noise pollution. I get it. It happens. I get it. I get it. But we will structure these areas to be a little bit more accessible, so to speak, okay? All right, so we want to connect to this road here. So that means let's connect it right there. No, 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 no. I made a I made a mistake right there. That's where I made a mistake because I want it to go. There. That's where I want it to go. So let's go ahead and get rid of this highway right there. There we go. Let's just gotta redeem ourselves. That's all, guys. We just gotta redeem ourselves. I'll be blowing up a few things along the way. All right, that's what we're gonna do. So now that we've got kind of like our plan, crematorium, let's go ahead and move this to this side, maybe. Okay. Uh, this, we can't really move. We can ask them to move. Compensate them for their time and their trouble. Okay, so we're gonna actually wipe out this neighborhood right here. This neighborhood is gone. We'll wipe out that street. Yeah, we're gonna wipe out this neighborhood right here. And then we will add this highway to right here. It can really feed into this area. I know, it's tragic, right? But we want that highway feeding that way. So it feeds into the city. So, let's get back over here to our major highway. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna now take this highway and separate it out the other way. And this is what I, I really love about stuff like this. So, what we do is now we take our highway right here. We're going to add it another stretch. Okay. We're going to add another stretch of highway. So we've got one division here. Let's do another division. Let's do that. Let's do another division. Because I'm, I'm all about division. I'm all about making it something remarkable. Let's have this really feed into the city. Um, actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and take this highway out. Let's get rid of these ones. We don't need these streets right here. We'll get rid of this. Let's revamp this because our highway does need to be revamped. 
and this is actually the perfect time to do it. This is the perfect time to do it. Okay, so what we'll do is all the way to about there. And we will change this into a six laner. Yes, I know it probably will promote them leaving our city. I get that. I know some of you have your reservations. I know. But we're going to make it so that they don't leave our city, okay? I promise you. They're not going to leave our city. They're going to love our city. Who doesn't love our city? Okay. Let's page. Let's go page up. Let's do this one. I kind of like that one. Kind of like that one. We'll just connect it all the way. Like this. Page down. This. We'll have one connection going this way. I like it. But then at the same time, we will also have one connection going this way. So it feeds into the traffic. Look at that. Oh, that's so beautiful. I love seeing highways like that. Okay, perfect. So now that we have that eating in, here's what I want to do. I want to literally build another road that travels along this side of the city, okay? So right now, all this stuff right here is not developed yet so we can take advantage of this and potentially have more traffic going into our city okay without ruining the value of that area of the city okay because right now we're gonna have a, a little bit of difficulty here based off our traffic report this highway should allow for more of these streets to be cleared more people are gonna want to get on the highway to get into work we're gonna clear all this up afterwards, but first let's fix all of these traffic issues so that way we don't have to worry about it. So another good thing obviously is having public transportation. Public transportation in a city is going to make your city run a lot smoother. It's gonna make it run a lot better. So bus depots, let me explain the difference here guys. Because when you're doing bus stop signs and you, these, this one, you have to just create routes and people will get on the bus. You can always filter that out. It just goes into a deeper breakdown. But having bus depots around allows for your buses to kind of stay maintained. All right. In case anything breaks down. What we're going to do is we are going to make a bus station and we're going to put that somewhere closest to our industrial side, but on the edge of our business side, if that makes sense for this aspect of the city, right? So you know what? It It's looking like the bus station might have to be like right here, which I'm okay with, which I'm okay with. I, I can deal with that. So we're going to have one bus station here. Now we need to create the lines. So this is going to be your north end, the north side bus station. We're going to position at least three or four of them around the city. So that way all buses can kind of connect to one route or the other. So there we got one bus station right there. And we're going to create another terminal, obviously for our industrial area, because we want the bus stop to go there or bus terminal there. We're going to have one bus terminal over here on this end of the city. Yeah, let's do it right here. Yeah. One bus terminal there. And this is a major highway or this is a pedestrian street, street so we don't want it there. We're going to have one bus station down here for kind of like a downtown area. 
then let's add a bus station next to our medical center so people can kind of just get to some of these routes okay uh what is oh i accidentally exited out my bad all right what is uh what is this notification here oh those are just cabs okay perfect so look at all these stations so we have all this going to be connected when we expand here we can add maybe a bus station on this side but now the buses are going to allow us to alleviate some of that traffic that is now building up in the city you have 20k points and you don't know what to do with them look man hold on to them just i, I would suggest holding on to them okay so let's do I want to also do a train station. Actually, let's go with a... Um, yeah, let's go with a, a tram station, okay? We'll build a tram station, maybe... I do want a tram station, actually. Okay. Just wondering where I would put it. This looks like an okay spot. Okay, that looks like an okay spot. All right, so now we have to build the tram track. Double tram. Yeah, I think we could do it right here. Okay. Let's 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 go this way. Because what we're going to do is we're going to eventually build this tram all the way down here. So that's going to be the, the ending. Okay, I see how that's going to work. We can get the tram to kind of gravitate this way and whatnot. Perfect. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our tram track that we just recently built. And we are going to simply follow all the areas that are struggling with traffic. That's it, that's all we're gonna do is we're gonna come through, what is this, accident? Get out of here. I'm gonna put a tram track right here. Should be no more accidents. Okay, this is gonna cover kind of all of our problematic traffic that we're seeing let's uh oh we'll go this way we'll go this way we'll cut across love to see it what the hell is there that i can't destroy get out of this Okay, we'll go low ground. Back to the major highway. The hell's our tram station? Oh, there it is. <laughs> I lost our tram station for a second. My bad, guys. I want that connection there right Did the tram station work oh these aren't connected well yeah it's difficult okay okay what is the broken connection here? Because that's the one I'm going to have to fix. What 
where's the broken connection? I don't understand this. What is the broken connection? I don't understand this. Right there. That's where the broken connection is. I was like, what's going on? Why is the connection broken? Don't understand why the connection is being broken. Can I refund these? I don't want this here. Okay, there's a tram connection here. What in the actual F is going on? What is... Okay, I need daytime. This is ridiculous. I can't see anything. Is there a way... Noble, is there a way to change this so it's, like, consistently day? Just for, like, a moment? Because this is driving me nuts. I just have to fast forward it. Gotta be in the settings, right? Now I know why you don't do construction at night. For me personally, if I owned a construction company, I would never do this at nighttime. I can't see Jack. Yeah, I didn't mean to destroy the highway. I just wanted to destroy this. Okay. Oh, that was ridiculous. There we go. Now I found the connection. The connection I needed. What the hell is this? Don't tell me I had to connect from there. I'd be so pissed if that's where the connection had to be. What happened there? Is that not going to be able to work? Oh, that's definitely not going to work. Gonzo. Alright, we'll go for a round. No, this is okay. Ignore all this. I'm not putting this in the video. <laughs> I'm just this... I'm wondering why this is not effectively connecting and maybe it's because there's a connection that I'm not doing correctly let's get rid of this am I not seeing that connection right there it's because I was extending it too far out now I get it okay now I get it Now I get it, okay. So I'm extending this connection out there where it doesn't need to be out there. So I'm gonna take this. I need to move this. That's what I need to do. This needs to go like right here. There we go. Now I can build the connection from here. There we go.
Exit out. We'll bulldoze this connection because we don't need it anymore. Right? Perfect. And then I'll fix that. Okay, so then this actually has to be elevated. Okay. We're gonna have to elevate that highway. Okay, I'm happy. I'm happy. I love being able to elevate a highway. That makes me happy. Now that that highway is elevated, now the tram can work and go underneath the highway. There we go. Just a learning moment for me, guys. Just a learning moment. We can just connect the tram this way. Get rid of this extra piece because we don't need it. Wait, what did I... Did not connect. Did it not connect? I guess it didn't. Hang on. Yeah, it should be able to... Oh, it won't connect from this street. That's my mistake. Okay, let's get rid of that then. Let's get rid of that. Okay, we gotta make that connection better then. Let's get rid of that. Okay, so we got connection here. You and your power lines. There's always something, guys. There's always something that needs to be fixed. There we go. Power lines done. Can I get back to my tram station now? <laughs> All right, where did I put this tram station? Because uh, I really want to clear this all out. Okay, so we've got some tracks here. We're going to get this, guys. I promise we're going to get this. Okay, so we got to get rid of this. Is there a tram station there? I hope not. There is not my intention, but this is also, okay, so that's saying that's blocked. So highway's blocked here, so, oh, that's just saying it's not connected. That's tragic. There you go, now you're connected. Flow into this city. Man, could you imagine that? Flowing into a city and immediately it just jumps into one, two, three, four, five, a six lane highway. Going through the city, that'd be insane. That's gonna look insane with that background right there. Guys, that's gonna look insane. All right, let's go fix our issues here 
We've got an issue with this. Okay. Let's let's this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna try to find where our track is. Need the tram line to the hell okay. The tram depot. Another one. Let's do another one just for just for just for the giggles okay we'll do one tram station there one tram station there we'll do is from this zone Just follow this line. Ever there's a road, we shall follow it. this one and let's go back to the line and restart this all over again so this one is connected perfect everything should be connected now except for right here What? What do you mean you're not connected? Because the circle is going to be insane. That's insane. Alright, let's try this again. We'll take this connection. Bring this to this road in which it's going to need a connection. Get the F out of here. Come on, bro. You're kidding me right now. Mosh Pit, how you doing? Welcome in. I appreciate that lurk. All right. Let's find a connection here. It's not gonna ruin our chances at success. You're joking me. There we go. Connected. Now you're connected. Scott, I gave you your own tram connection. Get out of here, bro. No, 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 no. 
I gave you your own tram connection. You guys see this? How did that happen? All right, let's fix it. Let's create a new line. Why? What's the problem here? Why, why are we having a problem here? Should not be having a problem. The tram is going to go this way. Oh, let's go. Connected both of them. That's what I'm talking about. Now, now that we have the tram depot, Let's take a look one more time at our traffic, what we've been doing by adding the tram and adding kind of like those lanes, these highway lanes, we should see a lot of this clear up. Okay, because this looks kind of bad, almost to the point where we might have to change out some of this stuff. So let's see hate to change this out but unfortunately we are going to have to we're gonna have to unfortunately so that's a police station 10 ads oh yeah i'm sorry thank you for sticking through them i appreciate that I really do. You're really helping the channel out by <laughs> sticking out. I'm going to be honest with you. How's your day going, by the way? Hopefully it's going well. I'm in the process of clearing up all these accidents. All right, so this looks like it's going to be a major accident zone. So let's go ahead and just select the police station. We're gonna move this bad boy out of the way because this looks like a violent area apparently for traffic. So we're just gonna start changing it out. We're, we're gonna clear this traffic up one way or another. Because we've got an underground tunnel right there. So, perfect. Perfect. That is absolutely perfect. We can put a major intersection right here. Right off the highway, we can create a major intersection right here. Let's see. Let's rotate. Let's see where we do the least amount of damage. Because this whole area needs to be redone this looks like the least amount of damage here okay let's see if we do let's look at let's look at the variations that they have because we might find a variation that's going to help us Oh, what's that? We might have something that can really help us out here. Have a lot of overlap, but we're gonna have a lot of good promise right there. 
we're gonna have a nice massive major intersection right there perfect oh my goodness this is gonna look so good perfect it's gonna take a little bit of time but I promise you this is gonna look so good We'll knock out some of these houses here. Oh man, we're really gonna make this look vibed out. Okay, so I need to destroy all of this stuff in this area. But like all like the houses and everything. Oh no, maybe I don't wanna do that. <laughs> okay, upon further review, maybe I don't wanna do that. But we do need to influx more traffic here. And what I am thinking is this, we need, okay. Let's see, a roundabout. Could I do a roundabout here? The only problem with the roundabout is get risque put a roundabout here put a roundabout here let's open up some of these areas a little bit with a roundabout there. I'm sorry but it has to be clear there those are major areas and we need them to be cleared out, so don't be upset about it. Okay. So, let's go back to fixing our mess that we created in the highway section area here. So... We do have elevation of the highway, so I think that's what we're going to do is we're going to maintain that elevation, but we want to make it so that these exits are still accessible. Okay. We want these exits to still be accessible. So. We're going to go back to the higher version of the highway. Oh my goodness. The higher version of the highway, perfect. And we want to just connect it right here, just like that. Oh my goodness, bro, why does it like auto click and. Mm. Sometimes this game can be very frustrating. I will tell you that right now, but I'll still play it day in and day out. They did a really good job with this game. Really, really good job with this game. Okay, so now we need the exit paths or ramps as you would say so let's start going back and see where some of our connections are and maybe we can connect them back up let's see what this looks like here that's not connected to a damn thing connected to anything actually I really did not connect this it's it bad it's bad news bears connected like that there we go don't even get me started on this tram stuff now. I literally just fixed this. Okay. 
We'll make our peace with this ram... Tram... Stuff. I don't even know where to connect it now. Is this the connection point? I don't know now. It's gone now. Whatever it is, it's gone now. Jeez, that water tower is loud. Well, this is the highway connection? Did I accidentally blow up the highway connection over here? I did, I did. That's on me. That's 110% on me. But we're gonna fix that right now. Fix that right now. connected, right? Oh. So that connected. Let's do a road now. Now we got to do our actual connections. So that way, these guys have the ability to actually interact with the community around it. Oh god. What did I do now? These guys here. Did I just systematically cut everybody off here? How do you guys not have access to roads? I don't understand how I systematically just cut you off. That's insane to me. The last time I looked, that wasn't a problem. By the way, guys, sometimes I talk to myself when I play this game. Just so you know. Okay, so now that we have that, we gotta go through and we gotta connect all these roads now. It's not gonna be easy. But we have to make these connections so now people can kind of get off the highway if they want to. Do one going that way. Do one going that way. Go that way. Man, this music is vibing. Holy smokes. You guys did a great job with this music. Love it. Absolutely love it. Alright, so now that we've done that, like I said, we just gotta keep going with some of these connections. Some of these connections just are what's really gonna like help. The overall oh. 
the city. See how like the traffic is flowing. You can kind of go through some of these lanes, get to some of these areas in the city. It's like almost like an olive branch, like a little tree. Okay, so we've got a lot of one ways going this way. We're feeding all of our traffic. Okay, we can even take one of these big zones. The branch off here. Let's do it. Let's branch off to something. Right there. Let's just branch right there. off right there just feed the traffic north you know what I mean <laughs> just feed them into the, the north side of the city that's where all the work and I guess industrial jobs are right we want to feed them that way we want them to get a job over there so we're gonna do everything we possibly can to ensure that that happens. Okay. I like that. Now, you guys excited to see what I'm about to do next? All right. Now that that highway, this major highway right here is developed, this is what we get to do. We get to do another highway. Yes, another highway. And this one, my friends, is going to be another round about into our city. But it's going to take a very high elevation into our city because I want it to I want it to be all the way in our city down all this major like it's going to be major what am I what am I overlapping here tell me there's nothing see nothing yeah. don't say I oh you know what let's just buy it forget it let's just buy the property we can just do that oh, some city limits Just buy this property then. You know what? And just for the let's just buy that one. Let's really just build out this city. There's an outside entrance into the city. Slope is too steep. Yeah, it is kind of steep. I really just kind of 
sending people shooting down a highway. That's ask asking for an accident. All right, we'll s we'll adjust the slope. We gotta be conscientious here. Can't have everybody being a daredevil out there. What's happening? Why is this not letting me? There we go. Page it down to right about there. And then we'll page it down so it filters like that. Okay, perfect. So then we get some of these uh, extra roads. I'm going to fix that later. Promise. I promise I'm going to fix that later. I don't know. Some people want to take a shortcut. Let, let them have it, okay? Oh, actually, you know what? Instead of that, I can get fun and creative with it. Let's... do that. Yeah! Okay, I like that. Perfect. Now we got some traffic movement. That's, that's an exit. Love it. That's an exit. Of course, we have to have an exit here. So we're going to have to build some roads here. We got to have an exit right off the rip. right off the rip. That kind of leads somewhere here, but also connects back into the city. Let's go. So now we're really pushing and flowing this traffic to really spread out. Okay. So that's going to allow us to kind of just build something here for right now. Uh, let this flow into... We'll just have a one-way, just a random one-way. Just so we can kind of keep it like spaced out. Just so we can kind of keep it spaced out. We'll build something there later. We'll fix those roads later. Because I just want to funnel everybody here. Okay, so now we're going to just really see our city like expand and grow. So the number is going to go down. What you're going to see here is the number is going to... It's 36, 34. It's going to go down. But watch our traffic problems just based off of those little changes should curate a lot of these issues here i'll just do it this way this should curate this there you go as you can see it's going to start picking up and opening up so we have to fix this area you can see some people are already starting to use the roundabouts as needed they're figuring it out yes Yes. Thank you. They gave me some very smart sims. Let's go. Okay, so I'm going to have to clear up this roundabout right here. But you see how now that's kind of 
that's gotten better. Okay, that's gotten much better. It's gotten so much better. All right, so now for traffic. We're still on traffic, but we're about to make this fire right now. Let's go ahead and we're gonna take a look at where our highway is. There we go. We're gonna find that connection right there. It's okay. I just want to filter everybody best as I can. I know, I know. Go to the four lane road. Make that up. Is that right though? Seems like it's the same. They stick with the four lane divided instead. What do you guys think? Thinking the four lane divided might be better. Right? Yeah, it's all abandoned, I get it. I'm gonna have to change this whole thing. Just to about right there. We'll add this four lane road. Cause this, it's obviously much better. Okay, so that'll be like a major road incoming. And then we're gonna have to change this because I don't want that to be the cause of a thousand accidents. Okay, so now we got the major road this way. get rid of this road here and I want to get rid of that but in order to do that What am I overlapping? Oh, 
for that reason, actually. It was unbelievable to me. Now I just fill out the squares. I just fill them out. That's it. There's a lot of office spaces down here. This is our primary downtown. Perfect. So now all these other places right here, they're all going to fill out. Oh, that's exciting. All right, let's, uh, let's see what happens here. We'll see how traffic really clears up. So this is a big road. That's a very important road, apparently. Hmm. Might have to build something. Might have to branch those two. So maybe what we did was change this road to four lane divided road here. And then continue it. That is bulldoze the wrong road. I did. Ah well, it's not like I couldn't use the improvement. There is the perfect connection here, I just had it.
I don't know what to tell you if you're not at an exit point. Like, he's got to go. Okay. Let's go back to our traffic here. That should clear up those roads. This might be a problem, but we'll fix that. Let's see how this goes. Okay, we're getting good traffic. So now we gotta figure out this, <laughs> that section. I don't like this. I'm going to have to fix this. This music is amazing, by the way. I don't know if you realize that. The music in this game is amazing. Okay. Let's take our minds off of traffic for a little bit, because obviously traffic is going to get a little bit of a touchy subject as we move forward. So let's make sure we have everybody that's got electricity. Everybody's pretty much available, but we do have some rolling blackouts. I just saw that. Let's um, maybe add some more power to the city, huh? We've got a loose connection here. Let's move this hospital to a location where it can actually be utilized. Okay, perfect. Oh. What can I do, my guy? I had some of these here. This one will kind of get some diversity. Okay, what do I need? Specialized treatment ward. Oh yeah, definitely add a helipad to this. Who wouldn't? Specialized treatment ward? And a trauma center? Where did the trauma center go? Absolutely. That's awesome. Add it. Let's make it happen. Make all of these accessible to helicopters. Upgrade everything. We want our citizens to be taken care of in every facet. Okay? Every single facet. Car wash? Can we add one? Let's do it. Another one? Come on, now we're spoiling them. Oh my goodness, we can add some more upgrades to this? No, we'd have to destroy stuff. That's tragic. What about this? Can we add this? Yes, we can. Look at that. We increased the value of it tenfold. Let's take a look at this hospital. I can't believe we've been forgetting the upgrades. Oh, well, I'm glad that we took the time to look at the upgrades that we needed. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. If I could add it, I would. If I could, I would. So bad. But I won't, unfortunately. Elementary school. Gets a little gazebo. Add away. Add away. Look at that. Improve the automatic quality of it. 100%. 
add away. Nice little neighborhood playground. Look at these houses, man. Look at that. It's like a nice little neighborhood we got going on. A driving advisory has been I issued like that. in the immediate area due to poor road. Local authorities are urging the public to conserve water and reduce the burden. This is Serve Second water. Third Radio Classical for the modern. Let's go age. next. Industry in the. We're we're live. Maybe we'll go back to the smooth beats. All right. Let's make sure our electricity is connected. Why is it not connected? There's just this random connection line. What was that supposed to be connected to? It's just there. Oh, dude, we can get rid of all this. Get rid of all these connections. We'll really improve the area. So now, now it looks better. Like there's no power lines just seeping through. Okay, because all the power is conserved to like out here. Oops, didn't mean to destroy that connection. Keep that one going. Okay, so let's add a little bit more power to the city. I think I'm gonna kind of go hard or go home here and really just add, just go for it. Why not, right? Wind is blowing this way, so we can purchase this area right here. So let's go ahead and purchase. Purchase this spot right here. Perfect, so now we have the ability I developed the wrong type of road. I did. That's tragic. That's tragic. Can't believe I did that. Sorry, guys. Do you know what? Yeah, let's do that. Pretty nice old bridge. on this hill. Sorry. You know what, we're just gonna...
Oops, I don't know. Simple mistake guys. Can be corrected in a heartbeat. Why is this going underground? Where is this elevation? Is that elevation? Why was it doing that? Why? Crap. Why is it there's no road connection here? the industrial stuff yes all right so we'll also um let's add a train station because why not okay so we'll add a train station maybe right about here train terminal you know what? Bulldoze that. Let's first and foremost let's smooth out this land. Soften the terrain here. And let's also level it out. I don't think that's leveling it out. I feel like there's elevation there. Let's change that. Let's change that. We have the mountains. change that we have the mountains why not utilize the most natural of resources right doing so we can create some of the most beautiful things oh, so transportation we're gonna do a cargo terminal i want to get the cargo trains out of here so we'll get them going. And then we'll do a two-way track somewhere. Oh, that exceeds city limits. Do I have to buy that section too? Turns out I will have to. Did I have a train connection into the city at all? I don't think there was a connection into the city. But I guess I can form one. Never mind, I don't actually need this. I thought there was an actual connection into the city. My bad, guys. Uh, smooth out this terrain again. Okay, so in the meantime, I think a good option then would be to add our power plant here. Geotherm. Any other type of power plant. Let's 
Oh, I need groundwater. Shit. What is this? How much pollution does this have? Jeez Louise. But it puts out so much power. Let's see. Maybe a solar power plant? That would fit there. Gas power for right now. We'll utilize that. And because we have the space, let's just put that there. And let's put this right here. Because I have a feeling that we're gonna need it. Just saying. Do an early disaster thing here. So that way, if there's any problems, it'll be okay. It'll it'll be okay. Power lines, of course. We always need power lines. Just needs to what happen to the music. Oh, I accidentally turned it down on my headset. I was like, wait, what happened? <laughs> All right, so we're gonna move this really quick. There we go, because that was in the way what we were trying to accomplish here. Overlapping an item. Just for right now. Put you right there. It's for right now. I'll figure it out. I'm pretty sure we'll make some changes to the city as we improve, right? That's our little geothermal area. Look at that. Let's take a look at our bus station. Can we add upgrades? Absolutely. Let's do it. Upgrades for everybody. Look at everybody, how happy they are. Do we have space for an upgrade? I don't know if we have space for an upgrade. Don't know. I don't know. This medical center? That's a massive medical center. No, I can't move that. That's huge. That's massive. No way I can move that. Alright, let's uh get some crime fighters in here, huh? Get some police stations put down. Maybe some government buildings. Yeah, I know I put a welfare office there just in case, you know. The city falls on hard times in this area. We gotta be prepared. We'll add a little police station right here. Let's add a little clinic. We can. 
nice little clinic. Then click on the clinic, we'll upgrade it. We want to upgrade it. clinic is this? Darn. Okay. So they need some more low density areas, huh? So, here's what we're gonna do. Wait, what's going on here? No track connection? Okay, well, I spent a lot of time on that, so I'm not about to spend any more time on that here's what we're gonna do we're gonna add an area for the entire industry all of, all industry workers can come live over here that way they don't have to worry about all that traffic you know what I mean so we're gonna make an area I want everybody to have a great place to live, but at the same time, not have to go far just to get to work, to get to school, or anything like that. I'm giving the opportunity to just have the ability to say, hey, I'm off at 3 o'clock, I'll be there at 3.30, 3.15 even. Okay, so we're going to offer the opportunity for growth. in some of these areas I want people to enjoy not having to take that long drive home you know what I mean be able to just go to work, come home, I don't have space for the large hadron collider, but we do have to add a firehouse here, we gotta add a firehouse or at least something little fire station. Man, this is growing quicker than I expected it to grow. Holy smokes. Build another police station. So that way we have some more people here. And you know what? Everybody likes to party from time to time, right? So let's go ahead and um, let's drop in maybe a community pool. You know what these guys are gonna like? Who doesn't love coming to a good old fashioned sports game? Huh? Who doesn't like that? So let's give these guys a little bit of sports. Gonna do a soccer field, maybe that might work. Put it in an area where they're gonna be healthy. Because I don't want them to be unhealthy. I put it right here. Hmm. 
give him a couple soccer fields. There we go. And then on top of that, we're going to give them some businesses. Okay. We want to give them something other than... Okay, so we got power lines there. Okay, perfect. So let's go ahead and we'll put in some small businesses. Kind of like the mom and pop shop kind of things, like a city within a city, so to speak. Okay, so we'll add some small businesses right here to this area. So they kind of have like a little business area. Okay, and then let's get a little bit more industrial. Because we're going to need that. As this area grows, we're going to definitely need it. So let's build that around here, okay? Some more industrial. All right, so now let's take advantage of all this growth we're going to be expecting to see here. Look at that. Just growth beyond growth beyond growth. Houses. Just we look at that. We doubled within the last like 30 minutes. We've doubled in population. All right. So now what? What's our biggest problem? Not enough customers. So that means we need to move more people. All right. So let's focus on this side. Let's get some astronomical growth going. Actually, and I'm get this. I don't know. Maybe call me a masochist, but I have to see our traffic much clearer. Much much clearer than it was before are you kidding come on all right we got this medical center here let's let's utilize this medical center okay let's take the opportunity to actually utilize what we have here and that my friends is a gold mine okay it is a gold mine. We're about to hit some gold right now. Roads connecting, everybody's building, everybody's feeling confident. Let's go ahead and put in some high density housing right here. We're gonna watch this value increase, okay? And we're going to put in some low density because this one is going to be much easier to level up. Much easier to level up. We're going to add as much housing as possible on this side. I want this area to really grow. do it like this okay we're gonna obviously separate some of these out I know they're building I'm sorry I'm sorry Right, we got the medical center right there. We got everything kind of just 
building out. We'll get some uh, police stations in here. We need to have a high school over here too. So that way they have a place to go to school. And of course, we do need a medical center, a medical facility that they're taken care of. And let's go ahead and add the attachments as needed. So that way they're taken care of. Let's go ahead and add the upgrades to this elementary school. These are little playgrounds, so they got two playgrounds right there. I don't think I can add another gazebo. Okay, so that's a pretty decent size. Pretty decent sized. High school. Okay, we'll go ahead and, or elementary, we'll go ahead and add uh, the extra wings to this school. First, let's move it over if we can. Actually, let's move it out. Right there. Nah. Okay, we need that to go right here. Be able to attach it? No, because the highway's right there. What is this? Tram depot. leave the high school there for right now but the high school is not going to be without any sports activities we want to give it something they get a football field of course why wouldn't they ah. we'll add a soccer field somewhere else We'll add somewhere else. Okay, but we can add a maybe a little basketball court or something. There we go. Jeez, this place developed so quickly. How many people are here? Holy smokes. Let's move more people in. If that's the case. Let's move them all in. Let's move them all in. Sorry guys, your houses are going to be destroyed and I feel bad about it. But it's gonna make way for something really cool. And right across, I can put a little playground? No. What is this? Dog park? Not a campfire. Is that, that is a small park. Yeah. 
do a nice little small park across from this really nice looking mansion. Yeah, that looks fire. Alright, I still want more housing. Wow, more housing they say. Alright, you asked for it. I'll give you more housing. How does that sound? Sound good? I think so too. We're gonna have a little elementary. Okay. It's not gonna be top notch. Be the biggest elementary, but it doesn't need to be. Doesn't need to be. There we go. So now we're really just maximizing our growth here. See, everybody's getting happier. We're getting more people into the city. Schools are getting bigger. Now we gotta look at our students. Okay, so now that we're letting this grow, we'll kind of let some of these areas kind of develop out and see where it takes us, because we could probably use this for expansion right here. But man, this one really exploded. I love to see that. I love to see that a lot of people moved into this city. We have a lot of, a lot of space. That makes me happy. One thing we do have to get going is our downtown section. But in order for that to grow, we're gonna have to obviously revamp it you see, there's a little bit of traffic, so we're expecting downtown to be heavy, heavy traffic, but we need to figure out how we can foster this growth. So I guess we just have to ride the wave of people coming into the city. The more people that we have, the better. But look at that. We're really getting somewhere. Beautiful night sky. Look at the stars. We got the water. What is this, a shark? Was that a Loch Ness monster? 
No way. Where's that a boat? Let's investigate it. Oh, he's lucky. That's a boat. Thought it was a Loch Ness monster. That would have scared me. <laughs> Poor B, what's going on? How are you doing? Welcome in. Welcome in. Hopefully you're doing well. Okay. So. Beautiful mountain range right there. Yeah, let's just let the city grow. Let's see where it takes us. Let's see where it takes us. We're looking for a lot of... Looking for a lot of housing. Man. We're looking for a lot of housing. So let's make some housing. What do you say? We just go on this epic build of nothing but houses in this area? What do you guys say? You just got up from a nap? I feel like that's what I need to do, is take a nap. Holy smokes. They want a city. I'll give them a city. Let's give them a city. Let's give him a city. We're at that spot now where growth is beaming exactly how we wanted it to be. So we want to take advantage of this now. Oh, it's exciting. number is increasing watch this number shoot up we could probably get to about mm, I'd like to say 10,000 but I'm not gonna hold my breath if we don't get to 10,000 that's okay it's manageable we can always figure something out Now we're going to switch these roads. For those of you who don't know, I like to design my cities in grid patterns. The better the grid pattern that I can create, the maximized amount of space I can use. Sometimes I get lazy though. I just want to see the growth of this city. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll add. Now we're going to make this area just super populated. Big high school. You know, we'll throw another elementary here. We have some rivals. Watch, this high school is about to take off over here. So this one's going to be massive. And then we'll have another feeder elementary school, okay? And right smack dab in the center of all of that is going to be a hospital. Okay, we'll throw in a little medical clinic out here. Get these guys going. Angry, how are you doing? Welcome in. How are you doing? What's going on? 
I'm getting I'm getting amped up about this build. I'm getting amped up. Alright, so now every every area needs a little police station. We'll give them some police stations. We need a fire station. Oh, I put down the fire station. Do a police station here, police station here. Before I do anything else, let's upgrade this. Upgrade this. Oh, you don't get a field? Yes, you do. Today is your lucky day. You get a field. You get a field, sir. Yes, you do. Oh, look at that. The first school. Combine broke, so I'm off for the day. There you go. Well, it's not good that the combine broke, but if you get some free time, that's always good. I am chilling, kind of gearing up, getting ready for a meeting later. Not sure how I feel. I'm, I don't know if I'm ready for it, to be honest. You, what, these guys get two upgrades? Should we make this another upgrade? Should we do it? We should give these guys multiple upgrades here. Let's make this a freaking massive school. We'll move this hospital one square over. We'll take this high school to right here. Oh, delete. This is the high school that everybody wants to go to. That's the high school everybody wants to go to. Overlapping. What the hell am I overlapping? Uh, yes, it's going to be for some of my clinical stuff, which I don't know how. I'm excited for it, but at the same time, I'm nervous. That's about it. Okay, well, let me attach it to this side. Oh, I have to attach it this way. So that means, oh, that means I would have to move this building. Nah, I'm spending too much time on it. These, these guys don't get a, a, an extra football field. Get out of here. You're tripping. <laughs> I'm spending too much time on that, trying to figure out how they get the extra field. No, they want the extra field. They can put some of their school money into it, okay? Can't build everything for you guys. I appreciate that, man. I, I've been wrecking my brain all freaking day. Just making sure everything is crossed correct all the t's are crossed all the i's are dotted you know just making sure everything goes to plan that's the hope and the prayer because i think this is probably this is probably the most life-changing thing i've ever done like after this there's i mean other than having a kid I don't know anything else that could be like more life-changing than this. This will set me up for the rest of my life. And I'm excited, but I'm nervous. I don't want to mess it up kind of thing. You know what I mean. All right, now, you guys ready for this? This is going to be insane. I'm going to pause this. We're at 9,000, okay? We're at 9,000. Oh. Let me, let me treat these guys to a campfire spot. Because everybody loves a good campfire by the lake. Get a couple of them right here. Look at that. These guys get the nice little campfire areas. Alright, and we get a nice little dog park out here. 
We'll throw some dog parts in the middle. Scatter them around a little bit. We'll throw in some small parts along the way. So everybody knows, hey, this is kind of like a nice little neighborhood, nice little area. Uh, of course, we want some sports in this area. So actually, let's just do some community pools. This is kind of like a getaway area. Okay, this is where people kind of feel the retire zone. Okay, the retire zone. These guys need a police station here. And actually, I think they need a medical clinic. Yeah, you need, you need a clinic right here. Medical facility. All right. So now, now that it's paused, what we're going to do is we're going to fill this up with what it needs the absolute most of. It needs the most of this. So we're going to add it. All of it. That's what we're going to do. All of this is going to be neighborhoods that's what we want we want all this to be neighborhoods this whole section our population in this city is about to explode so right now we're at 9,000 I want to see how many we can hit you guys think we can? I think we can hit 10,000 right maybe 15 if we're lucky get some houses over here on the lake area use the houses you kind of want to stay at it's like its own little community out here okay and every so often we'll come back throw a few of these now we'll really just dominate some of those areas right there and then right back into filling it out because we want some areas to have some businesses okay we want some businesses in the area so we're gonna have to supplement a little bit here a business and then you know what let's put up some office spaces let's get some office spaces going why not why not get a little bit of excitement here Okay, now, high density offices. Perfect, that's exactly what I was looking for. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here and we're gonna be adding some high density stuff. Some really high density stuff in this area. And you're gonna see a lot of these houses are gonna fall, but that's okay. We want high density, okay? Now, oh, it's nighttime. I wish it was daytime. Watch this place expand. This bar is going to drop. Okay, so you guys see this. This is what the city looks like. Let's get a nice little view of it. The Aurora Borealis right behind it. Look at that. That's so nice. It's so nice. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay. Watch this thing explode. You're going to see this whole side just develop. It's going to be nothing but beautiful houses over there. You guys ready? And then you're going to see this area develop. So let's see if we can get a view of both of them. Boom. Let's watch it grow. You're going to see all these things, all these houses should start growing over here. There you go, see? You got the growing houses, neighborhood community out there. at that that's what you like to see and now industrial is taking off industrial is taking off see now we need more industry are really nice I 
That mountain range is amazingly beautiful. All these houses coming into development. something fun here. Let's add something fun. Let's add something fun there to really get that growth. Look at that. By the way guys, for those of you who are watching, officially, officially, I have dropped the part one of this build so you guys can see where I started I posted that onto YouTube so hit that exclamation mark YT and you guys can definitely check that out on the tube okay it should be there now posting a little bit more of these builds because I'm actually loving this game so much I'm loving this game so so much I can get lost in a game like this. All right, so I know we're developing down here, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna, I really wanna put this observation tower in so people can, it's like a tourist attraction. So what, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start with developing that tourist attraction so people can actually get to it, okay? Actually, let's develop it properly because there's gonna be a whole host of people coming this way. So let's develop it properly. Okay, so we have that. so people can kind of go on the roads okay so what we need to do is we also need to build a big parking garage we want parking here this is a tourist spot we want as much parking as possible as much parking as possible. We need a road maintenance depot, I just realized. Just slap it right there for right now. Oh, we can have traffic lights. It's hmm. cool. Cool. What's this? Okay, so we got a nice little tourist attraction right here. Okay, so we got a lot of parking so people can come check this out. Now, what we need to do is we need to add some power. So, let's build a transformer unit. Build a power line out. Okay. 
yeah, I'm about to purchase that. Yeah, I'm purchasing it. It's happening. I believe it. Not that I need it, but just because I need it. Because we're going to be expanding that way anyways. It's going to be a part of the city, so why not have it, right? Why not have it? It's part of my city. Connect these lines up. Perfect. And just for a kind of cool little feature, a nice little water tower next to it. A nice little tourist attraction. People can come check it out whenever they feel like they want to. Okay. And look at this. Look at how this exploded with people. We are now at 10,000 people. And we're still growing. We are still growing. That is insane to me. That level of growth. What a little bit of ingenuity can bring is remarkable let's change these ones this doesn't look like it really wants to be much of an office area looks like a lot of people just rather would live here so we'll just do it like that all right and then we'll add another kind of road connection so we can ease the pressure off that bridge. I want to ease the pressure. Yeah, we'll let it flood into the city like that. Perfect. And then we'll add one more here. there let's close this off actually Let's add, what are, what are these? These are industrial. Let's get another power plant going if we can. Oh, we can't. We might not even need the power plant there. We might be okay. How's our airflow right now? Air pollution is not bad. If you look at that, that's not bad. We're leaving the air pollution off to the side. Which is really good. Ground pollution, we're going to have to work on that a little bit. Noise pollution, obviously, I try to limit that. But man, oh man. Take a look at how some of these office buildings are coming together. There we go. We are getting some really nice office towers. Some skyscrapers finally joining us here. Finally joining us. And the best part is we need more people in the city. They still want more. 10,000 people are in this city right now. Holy smokes. Should I build this out? Should I build that out, guys? I don't know. I don't know. All right, so these guys need a... 
Let's give them something here. I don't want to give them a landfill. Industrial waste processing site. Can I just put that somewhere over here? <laughs> How much pollution does this offer? Noise pollution is high, air pollution is high. Wow. Maybe a little recycling center right here? Why not? A little recycling center right there. I guess we're going to have a little recycling center right there. Maybe we had an accident right here. Somebody fell off the highway. Like why? What happened? All right. What's the problem here? Sewage system. That's what we got to change. Okay. So these guys need a sewage system. Let's take a look at our water flow and see which way the water is going. Water looks like it's going outwards. Okay, we'll just connect to our sewage system now. We'll just connect it to our current sewage system now because I don't want to take any chances. They all connected now. Okay. Now it's all connected. We're all happy. Everybody's good. Perfect. Nice little recycling center downtown. I like that. I want to have that recycling center downtown. I really do. We might move that. No, we are going to move that, actually. We are going to move that. question is, where are we going to move it to? You know, you don't even need it now. Because I only built that for this. Oh, I know exactly what I want to build there. Let's give these guys a sports franchise. This is what we're going to do. We're going to add some of these really nice structures. I really want to add some of these really nice structures to really highlight the city. To really highlight the city.
Did that not connect properly? Wow, that's tragic. And that way can, we can really, really start developing this city. You know what I mean? It can really start growing into a downtown. Of the road going out. connect that out. And this is where we're going to put our office buildings. Primarily office here. All office space. For right now. Okay. Yeah, it's going to get a little confusing in a little bit. But we're going to watch... The expansion of something miraculous. We want these high density buildings here for sure. Okay, that'll allow us to go back over here and neutralize some of these spots and really get that growth going. We can neutralize. I know there's currently buildings there now, but we'll leave a couple there. This was red. Oh, that's for resident suitability. Oh, well, it's about to be real suitable. Be ready for it. We're gonna get a police station over here too. Forgot about that. You know what? We'll even add the bureau. We get a massive police headquarters, maybe downtown. We'll add a government building. Let's make sure we can really make this. Like, awesome. Look. This is a police station. Come here. These are all these precincts. Got some police headquarters. Like this is the massive police headquarters. Okay, this is where operation goes down. All right, let's make sure we get some roadways here for this. The Central Intelligence Agency.
Is it not connected to a roadway? It isn't. Okay, that's why. Let's bulldoze this and click to move this. There we go. Nice little central central intelligence agency down there. Okay. And you know what? We're gonna have some beautiful towers downtown. Downtown has always always gotta look clean. Gotta look clean. Put it in the right spot. There we go. That way, downtown always looks clean. Okay. This is where the design feature of the game is just immaculate. I have a big marketplace here. Auto center here in the middle. There's a building right there. Silly me. Silly, silly me. Okay, let's add a little auto center here. Okay, and then we're gonna expand some of our offices. Like so. I if we could. Ah, we can. Okay, now that we've done that, we also have to put a football stadium. Close by. Look at that. The building has been abandoned. Yeah, all right. You're all right. All right, look at that. So we're at 13,000 people. Our city is growing. Look at that, guys. 
from where we started to where we are now, after three hours worth of work, I think we did pretty well. So next time I'm gonna come on here, I'm gonna probably fill out this area right here. We'll get a lot more residents. Hopefully, we can get to a nice, cool, calm, collected uh, 20,000. That's what I'm thinking. 20,000 people in the city. All right, let me uh, turn off the game sound so you guys don't hear that. Why do I hear it? That's why. Let's save the game. Okay, and I will be posting this tomorrow at four o'clock so you guys can definitely, definitely check it out. All right, but I will say this. Thank you guys for hanging out with me today. I hope you guys have a great day. Try your absolute best to enjoy every aspect of your life. Okay? Enjoy every aspect of your life. It will take some time to build things and make it fruitful. Just be patient. Everything will be okay. All right? Y'all have a good one. Thank you so much for watching.